Alright, so what's up, guys? Maybe the game is here, and um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to muscle flick in a rocket soccer derby. Obviously, it's way hard in Turbo League for you don't have a double jump mechanic unless um you get a wind dash and then jump again, and so the wind dash is going to push forward the jump into a double jump. It's not actually a lag; it's just a um. Mechanic. I don't know who actually invented that though, but it's just a mechanic. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how the master flick. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing it with the the noob car. What's the name of this car? I I, I hate calling it that. But um um just one point things out. The master flick was um invented in Rocket League, and the person who invented the master flick was a master car, and so. Um, how I learned the master flick was basically by watching his, um, his tutorial where, as he told me, I learned it, so, um, it's not really that hard when you really look into it, but sometimes complication does happen, and you go backwards instead of going forward, so. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to say is that, um, the uses of the master flick is basically simple, um, but in Rocket Soccer Derby, they won't realize this, only few would. And that's, um, the, the main use of the master flick is to trick your opponent thinking that you lost control of your car. Where you're basically doing a mechanic to hit the ball over his head. Me now. I use the master flick just to style in people. And also, if there's a large crowd in the way, that one time I was playing online, I had zero pings, thank God. That seldom happens. And there was like, I don't know. It was a full match. I think it was like, nine people? In their server? No. It was seven people, and they were all gathered here, right on this line. The ball was right here, and I came from all the way out my goal. Did a backflip, must they hit it over all those heads, and I got the goal. Pretty simple, once you can get power on it, which I'll be teaching you. So, uh, the first thing I want you guys to know is that the nose of your car should be behind you. And when you dodge backwards, it's going to push you forward. But it obviously is not going to want to do a muster flick like this. Just drop down the ground and then do that. So all you have to simple do is just do this. And it pushes you forward. Now the more momentum you have, is the more the muster flicks work. But um, sometimes your car can twirl or it can bounce back up. Because literally the reason for that is because in this game, the pogo bounce that you get, if I'm not lying, it is like way harder than Rocket League pogo bounce. And it's definitely way harder than Turbo League um, pogo bounce too. So I know Turbo League for a fact, but not Rocket League for a fact. So that, yeah, alright, so let's do a must stick. So all you seem back to put the nose of your car behind you. And then dodge backward, and that's gonna push you forward. Don't really mind if you, um, like hit back down. Like when you did it, your car twirl, and then like your car kind of got out of control. Because of the forward momentum you get, you have a ninety-five percent chance of your car going back in control. So like yeah, so don't really care if your car um like bunks back up or something like that but i think i do have a way to prevent that for nowadays when doing a master flick and using that way my car hardly bunks back up and it also makes my master flicks more accurate and i don't dodge backward now i'm going to just tell you guys the reason why you guys are dodging backward right away so split your car in half um and you also want to make sure that your nose is always behind you but that's what's going to push you forward, as I said before. Uh, if your nose is still in front of you, that's what's going to push you backward. So, once your nose is 100% still in front of you and haven't passed the half line, so that's why I say split the car in half. So, you haven't passed, the nose of your car haven't passed half of your car. Then you're basically going to just touch backward. I'm doing it wrong. There we go. So, yeah, now, one way to get more power on the monster flick 
and also have it more accurate is by doing the backflip musty because all you literally do is just jump and lean backward then double jump and it's more accurate because you 100% know that the nose of your car is behind you so how to practice this well it's just basically simple just drive through the ball lean backward then pump up and you get more power on the ball when you do that and that's what I do to get it over um people's head or players head I get more power on it and I'll tell you the reason why you can get a lot of power on the musty flick let me see if I can get it right now uh oh didn't do it properly whatever didn't do it properly Please, just, please, just explode and stop drawing out the moment. Alright, so let's try again. It'll be right here. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Alright, I'm going to tell you guys just the reason why you get a lot of power on it. And that's because the nose of your car is going... There we go. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Alright, so the reason why you get a lot of power on it is because the nose of your car hits directly underneath the ball, scooping it up when you get that um that forward thrust. So that's why I recommend doing the backflip musty because you're more uh, you can rely on it more for the nose of your car to be scooping it up off the ground. So yeah, look at that. I can even transfer that into oh my god, I missed it. I should have the uh, thing is that I don't I don't do quick aerials and double jump. I just do one jump, so I have the other jump to dodge in it. It's recommendable, but sometimes you can miss, so it's not really that recommendable. So uh, yeah, so that's how you do a master flick. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, all you simply have to do is make sure that the the nose of your car is simply behind you. And I recommend doing the backflip musty. Okay? I recommend doing a backflip musty. Um that's you can rely on that one more. And also you can stay in car cam while doing it, but but you don't necessarily have to because um when you spawn you're directly straight with the ball. So you don't necessarily have to. So recommend practice the backflip musty. And that, look at that. Practice. I'm not missing you again. I told you. I'm not missing you again, bro. Practice the backflip musty. And once you master that, you can basically just smash anyone in your path, man. Well, as I said, I use the musty flick to flex on people. Not really use it for its, um, its use. So, yeah. Um. Also, let me just try hitting up an aerial hit for you. No? Before I actually um in this video, so like yeah.